Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name's Adam, um, I've been a Harry Potter book collector now for about three years, um, really only seriously been collecting books um, for the past year, but three years ago was when I made my, probably about two and a half years ago now, was when I made my first real serious purchase of a Harry Potter book, um, when I mean serious purchase, purchase in you know, a few hundred pounds. Um, which at the time for me, a few hundred pounds on a book, wow, that's that's crazy um, to think about paying that much on a book. But my first serious purchase was, it was actually this book right here. So it was a first printing, first edition, first printing, first state copy of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And that's the book that I wanted to talk about today. So I have the, in a beautiful slipcase made for me. I have the first two, I have the two states of the first printings of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, both in fine unread condition, beautiful. Now, these days for a first state, you could be talking 1200 to 1500 pounds for a second state, maybe three to 400 pounds for it as a new copy um, right now. So the reason I wanted to talk about these books today is so several several months ago I was talking to a fellow collector through eBay who was looking to purchase some early print editions of uh, the Harry Potter books and I was mentioning that there are two states to Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban and make sure that you are getting the right state and you're paying the right amount of money for the right state you don't want to overpay for a second state thinking it's the, the first printing and um, and he wrote back and said, well, actually, there are three states to the first printing of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So that's long been the conventional wisdom of all antiquarian book dealers. And also in J the J.K. Rowling bibliography, which I have here. Um, so I might do a review at some point on this bibliography because there are some things that um, I'd quite like to mention about it. Um, so we turn to the section where the bibliography covers Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So I've got the I've got the hardcover edition here, but the paperback edition, which is the updated edition, has the same has the same information in. So we turn to page three hundred uh, sorry one hundred and thirty five in the hardcover edition, the author talks about the three different states of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So the first state, you have the, as most of you all already know, you have the drop line of text on page page seven, and the copyright is credited to Joran Rowling and not JK Rowling. Looking at that copyright page is all you really need to do to determine whether you've got a first state or a later state of Prisoner of Azkaban. The second state, that drop line of text was corrected, and the credit goes to J.K. Rowling on the copyright page. And then the third state, which Errington speaks about, it's the same as the second state with a corrected drop line of text and J.K. Rowling on the copyright page. But the printer is missing. So you'll see on the second state here, it says printed in Great Britain by Clay's Limited. However, that's missing from the third state. So straight away, that's a little bit bizarre, right? Why wouldn't it list? I mean, that must have been a conscious choice on the on behalf of somebody to remove the printer name from that edition of that book, right? Um, but that's long been the belief in by. I mean, this book only came out a couple of years ago, um, so the authors looked into um, the whole history of the Harry Potter publishing um, world when the books have come out. So, and this is what all antiquarian book dealers go to um, to reference their information. So this is what the current understanding is in the rare and antiquarian book trade. Even as recently as a few weeks ago, I was talking to a rare book dealer and they said that they were looking for unsigned copies of the first state of Prisoner of Azkaban or signed copies and also signed copies of the second and third states of Prisoner of Azkaban. So, and that was a major rare book dealer as recently as a couple of weeks ago who have a lot of contacts with people from Bloomsbury and in those early days. Um, so that's what the current belief is. So why was I saying 
why was I telling this collector on eBay that there are only two states of Prison of Azkaban when I already had the bibliography and I already knew that. Well, let's have a look. So the first two states, which I have right here. So the first state, see brand new unread condition. Go to the copyright page and you'll see it says Joanne Rowling on the copyright page with the number line of 10 down to one. And on page seven, it has the drop line of text right there. The second state, in terms of the copyright page, it credits JK Rowling, not Joanne Rowling, with the 10 down to one number line. And the drop line of text on page seven is corrected. So the third state, the third state, which I have right here, which I have right here, if you turn to the copyright page, so there it is there, so you've got the 10 down to one number line, but the printer is missing from that copyright page. But that's not the only thing that's different about this book. There are several things that are different. One of the first things that is immediately noticeable so if we just take the dust wrapper off for now and we compare it to the second state, this is the second state, yeah. And we compare it to the second state. So you'll see, so the third state, this is the third state on top. The third state is ever so slightly thicker than the first state. Okay, not only that, I don't know if you'll be able to tell on the, on, the, on the camera here, but the third state, the purple boards are ever so slightly, come back a bit, the purple boards are ever so slightly darker in the third state, this is the third state, compared to the second state. Not only that, I don't know if you can tell, but see how the words Harry Potter's printed here? On the third state, it's almost right up against the the spine of the book whereas on the second state it's a little bit further across and another way the final way of determining whether you have a third state is if you turn to the back of the book there are two pages of adverts in the back one for harry potter and the philosopher's stone and another for harry potter and the chamber of secrets so that it's a bit bizarre right why would halfway through the first printing why would they all of a sudden, not only, I mean, the difference between the first and second states, you've got the drop line of text, which is an obvious error, and then the JK Rowling, the Joanne Rowling to JK Rowling on the copyright page. So those are little errors, right? But then why was all of a sudden would they stop the print run and make all these, what seem like conscious changes, you know? Ch uh, taking out the name of the printer, um, making the book thicker, so using different kinds of paper, um, putting two pages of adverts at the back of the book using different slightly different colored boards you can actually tell on the dust jacket of and it's also on the book as well of the third state that it's slightly thicker so if you look at the spine of the third state you'll see that there's this kind of thick purple line going down the the dust jacket that's also on the book as well but if you look at the second state there's barely any line there whatsoever and that's also on the that's also on the dust jacket as well there's only the faintest suggestion of a line being there so faint that you can't even really tell on the you can't even really tell on the camera so i thought that was weird right why would they change why would they change the book so much so i had a look and i purchased a second printing of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So this here is a second printing of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So you can see on the copyright page, all of a sudden the printer name is returned and you've got the number line 10 down to two. So if you compare this book, so this, if there is a, if that third, if this book came directly after that third state of the first printing, um, this is the book that you'd, you'd expect to be more similar to that state. But if you have a look at it, this second printing most closely resembles 
the first two states of the first printing. I mean, the, it's practically identical to the second state, of barring that that number line. It's gone back to being thin. There are no adverts in the rear in the rear of the book. You've just got blank pages after the last page. Um, so that makes it even more weird, right? Why would they go? Why would they print two first states of the first printing? All of a sudden, stop the print run, create this third state, which is so much, so much different to the first two states, and then go back in the second printing to having the book the same as the first two states. It doesn't make sense, right? So what's the answer? I think I have the answer. So this, this, and this is the third state, the thicker one. This isn't actually a third state of the first printing of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, the UK edition. What is it? I believe this is actually the first printing of the Australian edition of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So why do I say that? So notice that the printer has been removed from the copyright page, which would make sense if the book was printed in Australia. And we can assume that maybe when they printed it, they just didn't put in the name of the printer and they realized in later printings. Actually, the third printing of the Australian edition is when you first see the printer accredited on the copyright page. But other than that, so I have here a first printing paperback of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, the Australian edition. So we turn to the copyright page. You can see the 10 down to one number line and it says printed, um, it says printed in Maryborough, Victoria, um, Australia. And you'll notice that this is also thicker than its UK counterpart. So I have a UK, UK printing here. No, nope, that's not it. Where is it? So I have a UK printing here, paperback printing of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And you'll notice that the UK printing, the one on the top, is thinner than the Australian printing on the bottom. Another piece of evidence. So I have here a first printing Australian edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So if we compare this to a first first UK edition, this is a later printing, a first UK edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, you'll also notice that the Australian edition, that's the one on the bottom, is slightly thicker. Maybe it'll be better if I take the dust jacket off this and show it a bit more. The Australian edition is slightly thicker, the one on the bottom, than the UK edition. So it seems as if the Australian editions are, in general, slightly thicker. And I don't have a copy of Chamber of Secrets here to show you, but from what I've seen, the copy of Chamber of Secrets is also thicker than the UK um, than the UK editions. I don't. Know, you might not be able to tell because it's a very close subtle difference. But the red on the Australian printing is ever so slightly darker as well than on the UK printing, and on the yellow at the bottom there, it's ever so slightly darker than the UK edition. Final piece of evidence, if you like, that the supposed third state is actually the um, Australian first printing of Prisoner of Azkaban. If you turn to the back adverts in the back of the book, you'll see the advert for Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And you'll notice that in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the Smarties Gold Award emblem is in the bottom left-hand corner of the image. So this Smarties Gold Award emblem was only in that location on the first printing hardcover of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Which is right here, the Australian printing. And that that's also the case for the paperbacks up until I think the eighth printing of the paperbacks. I have a paperback here. So here's a paperback, an Australian paperback of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. The Smarties Gold Award emblem is in the bottom 
left hand corner of the book and only in the Australian editions is that where you'll find that emblem. In the UK editions, I've got a UK edition which uh, I can show you. So in the UK editions it appears up here at the top right hand side of the book. In the Australian editions you'll find it on the bottom left. So, where have I put it? To conclude, and also, if you have a look online, I haven't, I don't personally have one. If you look at copies of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, you'll also notice that the Harry Potter is printed slightly to the left and very, very close to the spine of the book as well in Australia. So, Australian printing, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone not a third printing one final thing so f this book's been out for since 1999 right so how come rare and antiquarian book dealers for 19 years and how come jk rowling's bibliographer is saying that well this is actually a third state of the of the first printing well here's what i think so it's kind of the same reason that, you know, chickens lay eggs. That's what they've always done and have always believed. So back in, um, so if you're a typical antiquarian book dealer, antiquarian book dealers are only interested, oh, same battery low. So antiquarian, um, um, rare and antiquarian book dealers are only looking for really the first print, when, when it comes to Harry Potter books, the first printings of the UK editions. Most rare and antiquarian book dealers, especially high-end book dealers, won't stock Australian editions of Harry Potter. Maybe some of them will stock the first printing of Philosopher's Stone Australian, but most rare and antiquarian dealers won't stock um, Australian editions of Harry Potter. They'll stock the UK editions, and maybe some of them will stock the US editions um, as well. Um, in the J.K. Rowling bibliography, the, and this is one of the faults with the bibliography, among many that I feel, um, the bibliographer didn't include Australian editions or Canadian editions. I don't know why. Um, well, I do know why, because the text was so similar to the UK editions that there wouldn't be enough differences um, to, to warrant including them. Um, I disagree with that. I think that they should have been included. So J.K. Rowling's bibliographer would have never handled a Australian copy of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone or the Third State, maybe he did handle the Third State, or any other Australian copies. So it's likely that had he actually had the Australian copy in his hand of Philosopher's Stone, for example, he might have realised, oh, OK, this is actually thicker, maybe put two and two together. Philosopher's Stone's a bit thicker, the Third State of Azkaban's a bit thicker, maybe, maybe this isn't actually a third state and it's an Australian printing. And if he'd paid attention to the Australian printing and realized that the Smarties Gold Award sticker, the location of the Smarties Gold Award sticker in the bottom corner, then he might have realized that this is actually Australian printing. And then at the minute, most rare antiquarian book dealers will go off whatever the bibliography says. Um, so that's my opinion. If anyone has any different opinions, I'd love to hear it. Um, please let me know what you think. Australian printing, not third state. Thanks for watching.